Your country and your family are something to die for. All right. Food is for eating. 20 days of this. Are you not entertained? Nearly every day in May so far has had a game attached to it. This continues today with T. T. Four. Tales of Symphonia. James and I will take turns talking about this game, just like RPG rules. We'll even take on our usual roles. Mine is mage type, so I'll be in front and go first. That doesn't seem right. It's not. I'm AFK. I had to pee. Playing games with James is always a treat. Considering how much we love RPGs and how many we play around here on G2D, it's a little bit silly how few we've talked about during this game a day thing. But what can we say? We play lots of other kinds of games too. And it just so happens that, as far as RPGs, Tales of Symphonia is our number one. The Tales of series is probably the only JRPG series I love. They're really ambitious, beautiful, and have hundreds of characters in them, which makes them a bit messy, often hard to follow, and excellent. Tales of Symphonia was my first Tales of game, but even after playing lots of others, it's still my favorite. I'll never, ever forget the sensation I had the first time I realized the game wasn't kidding when it claimed Tethayala really truly was an entire other planet in equal size to Silverond. Twice as much story to experience, twice as many characters to meet, and twice as difficult bosses to fight. Just when you think the game might be ramping up to do its finale twist, the twist is being bigger. And even without that, playing through the game changed me. Its depiction of unfounded prejudices and their long-term effects, large and small, its exploration of corrupt organizations pursuing a self-serving goal, no matter the sacrifice from the public, the idea of family being about more than blood, all of it is successfully conveyed to the audience despite the fantasy setting with elves and magic. Playing Symphonia at the age I did really opened my eyes to a lot of real-world problems and ideas that I had no idea existed prior, including the fact that games can teach you lessons just as well as any other serious medium. I really wish I had something deep and world-changing to say about Tales of Symphonia in that way. It was the very first game that had ever taught me that multiplayer games were more than just party games or competitive. They can also be measures of teamwork. Given that this came out in 2003 on the GameCube, I would consider it a rare occurrence to have an RPG, much less a multiplayer RPG on the platform, that two great schoolers are going to pick up. But that we did. This was the first RPG Andy and I ever played together, and the first one that gave me the craving to play more. Not only RPGs, but more video games with Andy. You see, as much as we may bicker and brawl, Andy is an excellent teammate. He has your back through almost anything and will fill in cracks where necessary. He knows when to pull back and strategize and when to jump straight in, give it your all and win. This was the very first game that gave me insight into our team dynamic, which is I am chaos and Andy is order, which has been a hilarious way to play video games over the last several decades. For you, maybe! Andy typically adopted a mage role, sticking to the back line, casting powerful spells, and calling out needs to the team members up front. I was typically up front, protecting Andy as much as I could and offering ideas for spells to cast so we can combo our abilities. We didn't really stray from our self-assigned roles except to try the seven other characters in the game, but we usually went back to our first choices, Lloyd for me and Genus for Andy. I still remember triumphing over Abyssin for the very first time, the time and resource sink that entire fight became, the frustration and anger we both shared at how much we had put in only to almost fail. The fact we had completed not only the game, but what we had considered to be the hardest boss at the time. It wasn't until years later after the PS3 version came out, which we never completed in full, that we realized there was another 60 to 80 hours of content we just never played together. We definitely didn't have the time to do it way back when, and didn't have the wherewithal to attempt the content way or back or when. Things like the evil book dungeon, the serving minigames, the cat side quests, acquiring Meteor Storm. What about the casino? Oh, that lie? The lie the remaster included that ended up being one of the sole reasons I will eat $20 before I'd recommend that version to another single human soul again? Calm down. Is it supposed to be positive? You're right, sorry. Tales of Symphonia is great. It really opened me up to a genre of video games I never really gave any thought to, cooperative adventure games. And since then, we've played many, even outside of Namco's Tales of series. They are some of my favorite games to play, specifically because I have Andy at my side to joke with, fight with, adventure with, and take in the story with. It's some of my favorite moments on stream when he and I drive so well with a moment that we get lost in it, cracking jokes, and creating a long-lasting inside joke or phrase that we bring into our regular lives, which we will now recite completely free of context. I'm bored. Do you know any games? Kamawana ate her mother. Teched. I had that! It is I, the Mind Flayer! Eee! Ooh! Ah! 
Welcome, Welcome to, to this. this. And the many, many more momentary phrases and jokes we've made that become momentous occasions in our community. RPGs bring worlds, characters, stories, friends, and brothers together. I'm so glad this was the first game we ever gave any sort of teamwork toward because it was the perfect blend of action, adventure, storytelling, character development, and us arguing over whether to fight that boss or to attempt that side quest because we don't know what is and what is not permanently missable. And now we'll never know! Thanks a lot! What game starting with T do you hold near and dear to your heart? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you soon for you!